Okay, so listen, Portia, 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 y'all know that's my fave. She recently got married this past weekend, and we went ahead and talked about the African wedding, but I never got a chance to mention the American wedding. The American wedding was this past Saturday, and you guys, she had Tasha Cobbs perform. The kids were in the ceremony. She had Lauren and Shamia as, uh, you know, uh, uh, members of the bridal party. It was a star-studded event. Like I said, Tasha Cobbs per performed with a 40-piece uh, choir. People Magazine said orchestra, but then the brat said it wasn't no orchestra. It was a choir. A 40-piece choir, not a two-piece band like Kenya Moore Hair Care. Kenya Moore Hair Care was not in attendance. Someone made sure to comment that under one of my lives, and I was like, I don't know who told you that she was or that she should, but I never said that. But no, she was not in attendance. Um, and yes, okay, so listen. The thing about this wedding is that, like I said, it was star-studded. She had Drew Hill at the reception, which was held at the St. Regis, and she had so many housewives there, from Nene to Kim Zolciak, which is an interesting uh, combination because we do know that, uh, you know, Nene said that Kim Zosiak said the N word in this lawsuit that was recently, I guess, dismissed. Uh, you had Candy and Nene there. And you guys know that uh, Nene recently went and did an interview with Larry Reed live and basically said that she never had a problem with Candy Burris Tucker, but she feels as though Candy Burris Tucker had an issue with her because she's competitive and basically said that sis was jealous in so many words. So with that being said, it was a lot of dynamics. Candace was there. Monique wasn't, right? Monique ended up showing up to the African ceremony, but did not show up to the American ceremony. And then we also had, who else? So many people. Cynthia Bailey, right? Um, Monietta. So many girls. Drew Sedora and other celebrities. So we're just going to go ahead and show you guys the photos because it was quite interesting. Uh, let's see. Okay. So this right here is Portia and Simon. They look really, really, really good. Now, a lot of the folks were asking, what is up with Simon's outfit? I don't know. Okay. I don't know what's going on with Simon's outfit. A lot of the folks were saying, was he in the military? Does he have any sort of affiliation with the military? And all I can say to that is, I don't know. Okay. I don't know much about Simon's background, um, as far as that is concerned. However, I can give my opinion, and my opinion is I don't think he has an affiliation with the military, but I believe the reason why he's dressed like that is because this particular outfit is supposedly like princess and prince themed. Does that make sense? So she's like Cinderella, and he's like the prince that's supposed to put the glass slipper on Cinderella and don't let it catch midnight because then the carriage or the Rolls Royce, in their case, turns into a pumpkin. Yeah. You know, okay. So that's that. But I love Portia's look. I love the crown, the veil. It's like an off-white, goldish, champagne-ish, nudish, uh, lacy number that she has on there. And so I feel like Portia looks absolutely fabulous. Then we have, uh, okay, who do we have? We have Jennifer Williams from Basketball Wise with the whole back out. We have Cynthia Bailey with the whole chest and legs out, child. Okay, Cynthia looks fabulous. Love her hair. We have Toya Wright, Monietta Shaw. And Lena, I don't know who Lena is, but apparently she uh she tested for Housewives a while ago. Then of course we have uh Miss Worldwide and her husband Todd Tucker and Candy. Um, Candy did a I think it was an Amazon live where she basically said that she saw Nene at the wedding, and then the next day she saw Nene out and about in Atlanta, and you know they had a cordial conversation at the wedding, which then transferred to the next day of them hugging it out on um you know out there in the streets so check this out nina was very nice to me uh-oh we spoke we shook hands mm. what now i know a lot of people we said like you know we be have our ups and downs child we definitely be having our ups and downs and then guess what i ended up running into her again yesterday the very next day and we hugged look at god Look at God. Look at God. Won't he do it? Now, here's the thing. You know, I hate to be the pessimist and I hate to be negative. You know, I hate to be negative Nancy and I hate, you know, to really just throw a wrench in these people's positivity and their positive interactions. But, you know, I'm a student of history. And what we've learned from history is that Nene does this all the time. Like, I'm happy that she was cordial with Candy at the wedding. I mean, you should be nothing but cordial at someone's event, especially when it's a celebration of love. 
Um, and I'm glad that they had a hug the next day. But at the same time, like, wasn't it Nene who went onto the radio and basically dragged the girls after they were there for Greg Leaks? Talking about it was too cheap to do individual bouquet of flowers, but they had to come together to get a $200 bouquet. Wasn't that any leaks? Wasn't it any uh, leaks who claims uh, to be sisters with Marlo Hampton, but then did an interview with Hollywood Unlocked and basically said that Marlo doesn't deserve a peach? Isn't that that same Nene? So Nene has a history of like, you know, smiling in your face and then talking shit behind your back. Right. Like very like wishy washy, flippity floppity. You know, it's giving gymnasts. It's giving Sonia Richards Ross, not a track star, but a gymnast. And so that's that. So, you know, I'm glad that the girls had a positive interaction, but I don't think it's going to last. And I don't think it's the beginning of a newfound friendship. I really don't. But listen, I'm the negative one. So y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about the entire situation. Um, I'm glad both Candy and Nene showed up to the wedding, though. So I thought that was really, really good. Uh, okay, wait a minute. I didn't lost my place. Here we go. Okay, so that's Toya. Okay, so we have Candy. Then we have Toya and her husband. And then we have Big Booty Judy and the brat. Okay. Um, let me get this together. So this was Portia's after hours uh outfit. In this video, they were swag surfing, and Portia was all hype and lit. And it looked like Simon was lit too, but I feel as though Simon was tired. Like it looked like he was a little bit too drunk. It looked like he wanted to go home, smoke a cigar. He was he was ready to call it a night. Okay. After two weddings, bitch, he said he's tired. Okay. Uh Portia, take your man home to get some sleep. Then we have Drusadora. Drusadora looks great. Loved her dress, loved her outfit, loved her wig. Um, my question is, was it go naked though? Okay, was it go naked though? But Drusadora looked really, 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 really fabulous. And then we have this photo of Candace Diller Bassett, which was kind of surprising because remember um, a couple of weeks ago, Candace and Portia did an Instagram live where they were promoting a show and whatnot. And Portia basically told Candace, like, hey, sis, like, I want to invite you, right? Because I guess they have built up a rapport after filming Real Housewives of Ultimate Girls Trip 3. Um, Portia said to her, you know, I want to invite you and whatnot, but I'm not sure because basically Monique is going to be at the ceremony, right? I was already cool with Monique. I already invited Monique. I like you. I want to invite you, but I don't know how everyone would feel about that. But Monique did not end up going to the American ceremony, just the African one. And so Candace was able to go along with her mother, Miss Dorothy. So I thought that was amazing. Uh, there you have Cynthia Bailey again. All right. Now we have Portia Family Matter star. Uh, let's see. Londi, Dom. We have Lauren, uh, Portia's sister, niece Bailey, and cousin Storm. All right. So that was pretty cool. And then we have uh, Quad and Dom. Okay. Dom was making his rounds, child. Sierra from Love and Hip Hop and her man. They look really, really gorgeous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't show y'all that. I cannot show y'all that. Nini, 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 girl, girl, what is you doing now? Personally, for me, and I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all this, okay? Nini's outfit, I'm blocking myself. Nini, Nini had the best outfit. Nini had the best. Nini to me was best dressed. I mean, from the hair to the makeup, the outfit. Now, question for you guys. Let me know if y'all feel as though this is an appropriate outfit to wear to somebody's wedding. Honestly, it's a bit much. But this is not a regular schmegular wedding. This is not your niece's wedding. This is not your auntie's wedding. This is not your mama's wedding. This is a star-studded event, and we're talking about Portia and Simon. Mr. Cigar. Okay, Mr. He Drink Too Much. Mr. Hennessy. Miss Hennessy and Hookah. Okay, Princess of Thotland. Okay, like this ain't no regular schmegular regular wedding. And so a part of me feels like it is a bit inappropriate to have all of your areolas and your nipples out. But then again, I mean, this is a celebrity Atlanta hood rich event. So why not? I mean, everybody else was super, super sexy and laced up and it was a lot of sheer and uh, see through and all of that. Right. But um, besides it maybe possibly being inappropriate. Nene to me was 
hands down, best dress. I This was the most stunning look to me. Her body, that mini BBL that she got done is doing her wonders. She looks freaking fabulous. Listen, this is interesting because they say that Portia is kissing Simon, but Simon ain't kissing Portia again. Y'all. What is happening? What is happening? But I almost guarantee you, if he was doing his lips all perched up like, mm, y'all would be having an issue with that. Simon can't even say two words on social media without saying that grown men, grown established men should not be putting out their business on social media. Y'all drag men for even breathing and blinking and eating and sleeping and shitting. So Simon probably got word, got wind of y'all talking shit about him. And he was like, I can't do too much. They're going to say I'm not a real grown man. They're going to say I'm broke. They're going to say I'm scamming her. So he was like, let me play it cool. Let me play it cool. Let me, my, let me not perch my lips too much. They already called me the second coming to Patricia. They've already called me Simone. Okay. He, he done went from Simon to Simone. He don't want to be seen as feminine. And so he's trying to play it cool for the cameras, okay, to escape you guys' negativity, right? Moving right along, we have, uh, I think her name is Miko, Nico, if I'm not mistaken. We have Kim Zosiak, drunk as a skunk. Hopefully she did not drive that night, you know, following in her daughter's uh, footsteps. We have Ralph Pittman doing shots with Kim Zosiak, Marisol from Miami, which is returning to Peacock in a week. And then we have Marisol again. Alexia was also in attendance. And so, yeah, that's that. So y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about the entire situation. Congratulations to Portia and Simon. It seemed like such a fun event. You guys, I am so ashamed at Bravo for not dropping the bag to film this because, like, it looked interesting. Like, I feel like we should have been uh, 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 up close and personal and had a front row seat to this wedding because it just looked so, 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 so fun. All right. Let me know how you guys feel about everything. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day. Bye.